If you cast your mind back to the underfloor heating preparation video, I'll put the link here if you've not seen it, then you'll remember that I had to replace three of the joists because they are rotten and twisted. And the problem that's come about as a result of that is that these are modern 4 by 2s They're not actually four inches tall. So the effect that that's had is that the bottom of the joist is sat slightly higher up than that of the original ones, which means that when you fix the battens to the underside, they are higher up, which means that the insulation you drop in place is also higher up. So you don't have the same gap between the top of the insulation and the top of the joist that you do over here. And that's a little too close for comfort when it comes to adding the pipes. So to try and illustrate that, here's a bit of the 16 millimeter per per pipe that I'll be using for the wet underfloor heating. I drop that down onto the insulation and you've got a good 12 millimeters above it to the top of the joist. Whereas if you have a look on this side, that's reduced to just over five, which is insufficient because, well, all of the pipes are held down by these clips. That's another two and a half mil. And then we'll be covering all of the pipes in either sand or a eight to one sand and cement mix. We haven't quite decided yet. So there needs to be enough depth for them to all be covered so that the heat can dissipate. And that won't happen here. 